Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to get underway with the closing ceremony and the presentations of the 2015 International Challenge Trophy. First of all, I just want to take an opportunity just to welcome a few people who have come down today so graciously to be in our presence, and certainly it does enhance uh, the status of our competition. First of all, I would like to, to welcome Councillor Arnold Sullivan, who's here on behalf of the Cock County Council. And as a local lad who's been playing in our rooms when he was a younger kid, he went on to bigger and finer things. Um, he's a local Fianna Fáil councillor, which isn't too bad either, and he's also a barrister by profession. And uh, as I say, he's a local lad, and I'm not delighted to have you here. Thank you very much. For doing. So to the local people, if you see your soul of an arm, it's number one. <laughs> Hello, Adam. Secondly, I would like to welcome uh, Jim Lacey. Jim, as we all know, is chairman of the Republic of Ireland Builders and Snook Association, and uh, he took time out of his, of his extremely busy schedule to be here tonight. And uh, Jim, first of all, on behalf of the RCYMS, uh, I'm extre extremely grateful to you for coming down. You also came to us in 2002, in 2013, when you were uh, the president of the International Builders and Snooker Association, and uh, we're delighted to have you here uh, in your present capacity, and uh, thank you very much indeed for coming down. <laughs> the one thing we can say about Jim Lacey is that he's a great supporter of everything snooker, and I know that he spoke to the boys when they were setting up this fantastic concept uh, that he gave them his full support, which I'm quite sure at the time was really, really appreciated, yeah. and you know, particularly with the way it has gone on since the last four years. It's becoming more and more popular, and as normal, Jim's judgment was correct. So, Jim, thank you very much. <laughs> I would also like to welcome, in a very, very special way, uh, Fergal O'Brien and his wife, Jean. <laughs> Going through the history of, of this organisation, and we've had a long and treasured history We've been fortunate to have some of Ireland's greatest snooker players inside their premises. Uh, most of them came to play, and by the time tonight is finished, Isla Fergal O'Brien booked at a good price as well. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 um, uh, but he obviously adds to the list of the distinguished guests that we have here, had here down throughout the years. Uh, all of the great snooker players from, uh, from Europe, from the world, have played here in exhibition, and uh, Fergal. I know he came down once before, and unfortunately I was away, I think, at, at, at another competition, and we didn't have the opportunity to meet, but I'm delighted he's here. He has enhanced this competition. I know that he's dead. Uh, Fergus O'Brien, through Breadful Trophies, sponsored the competition in, in, in its early days, so he obviously has a connection with it. And I also know he has a special connection with the boys from Roadstone, because uh, every, time he sp uh, every time they speak about Fergal, to speak about them uh, in the highest of fashion. And um, when these boys speak like that, you know that it comes from the heart. So I would like to be part of that as well. He's only been, here, been in here maybe a couple of hours, and even some of our kids have been talking about him, and that's important for us. But um, he has played his trade on the world stage for a good few years. He's currently the, high, the highest ranked Irish professional snooker player in the world. And uh, I, can't, I, I would hope that uh, I would also like to wish him every success in the, in, in the continuation of his snooker career. So, very special <laughs> thank you. Right. What we're going to do, lads, is go straight into the presentations, because as you can see, there's a few presentations to be made. And I've been appointed uh, as the MC for the presentation, so you're just going to have to be able to me a little bit. Um, normally, I have a pile of notes I just have a few bits and pieces here, so we're going to go straight in and uh, we're going to make presentations to the referees. Before we call them up, um, obviously it's quite simple, no tournament like this can be held without referees. And uh, those who have travelled, particularly Jeremy from France, he's come along with his teammates. Uh, it's been a tremendous pleasure, Jeremy, to have you here. Um, certainly from the way that we see you, as to how you play your trade, you are certainly an outstanding referee. Uh, of international standard from what we've seen. Um, I don't know if that's the road that you want to go down, but certainly you are always more than welcome on these shores. And thank you very much for your efforts. <laughs> I also want to see the loudest family, uh, Don O'Donoghue. Don is the golden, 
I was going to say the golden boy, he's probably of the golden age now, but he told me the other day he hit 70. So congratulations on that, by the way. And he's an extremely popular uh, person uh, on the circuit, and you know, he's always been very, very, very good to us here on the All CYMS. He came down again in 2013 when I, got, when I made contact with him the other day. There was no bother whatsoever, and uh, he put his 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 vast range of skills and experience at our disposal for the weekend. So, Dan, thank you very much indeed. <laughs> it has been my pleasure to meet Mick Rogan over a point or two for the first time over the last couple of nights, and um, he is indeed a very special man because I got talking to him and, you know, he, his, his history in the game with the boys is varied, obviously, and, and he continues then for the love of the game, he, he goes and continues to referee. He, he comes down here um, at time and at expense, you know, to spend the weekend. He couldn't be more helpful. He said, Brendan, any time you want me, I'm here. And he's been fantastic. He came in suited and booted. And that's what you need in competitions like this. So people, the first thing you, you notice when you see somebody like that, you know that they that, that uh, you have their respect, that the competition has their respect. When somebody goes about and, and looks after himself like that and turns up in that way. So obviously that's part of his character, and uh, which obviously is, 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 is an extremely strong characteristic to have. And Mick, it's been a pleasure. And we'll have another point or two before the night is out. And please God, we'll see you again soon on these shows as well. So Mick, thanks very much. It's like everything else, when you start talking about people, you're going to forget somebody else. So I'm just going to go straight into the local lads. We had six or seven of the local boys, some of them young teenagers, who come in. And, you know, it's because of them that we probably hold these competitions, because they're going to be the future of Irish snooker. But they're also going to be the future, more importantly, if I may say, of the all CYMS. Because that, uh, this organisation was a special part in our community. Because we are a community organisation and we are there to serve and have been doing so since 1872. And the young lads have shown, you know, to me and to our, you know, the rest of the older lads in the committee, you know, that the place is going to be in safe hands when and if, if we decide to step back a little bit. But um, so to the boys, fantastic and thanks very much, guys. Again, he came out suit and booted, you know, and he did everything that we actually, no problem the minute he finished school and all this Saturday. I'm quite sure there may have been a, a question to the parents, look, ma'am, is there any chance I can go down on Friday, take school off, just to stop below for referees, but... It didn't work, I'm quite sure, but anyway. So, guys, thanks very much for that. So, Stephen's going to call out the list of refer the referees to come up and accept your certificate and a little presentation from the committee. I think Brendan left the, uh, the honour of me to... Uh, our head referee this weekend was Shane Mason. And I think uh, what was said about Michael Grow and said about Donald W, who can also apply to Shane Mason as well. Fantastic job here this weekend, and thanks very much, Shane. <laughs> okay, so we call it the referees come up, and if you come in this way, around that way. So, Eddie Hickey, please. <laughs> Stephen Kelly. Jeremy. Another man who spent a long, long day here on Friday, John Flaherty. He's too tired, he's almost asleep now, I'd say. <laughs> Kenny White. Christopher Cooney. Adam Bullman. Connor Kennedy.
Michael Grogan. Donald Donahue. And last but not least, the head referee, Shane Mason. Right, we'll just continue on there, but I actually had decided to leave Shane Mason until the last anyway. <laughs> Simply because we actually asked when Shane came down on, on, on the 12th evening, we asked him if he would take over as the head referee. It's something that he hadn't uh, done before, but we had seen him, or I'd seen him as well in action in the international competitions. And uh, again, he comes in proper time, he's always there, and time is always available if you need somebody to slip in. But the one thing I found about him was that, you know, if you ask somebody to take over something or take chances, it's when you see them lead, you know, in the position. That's when you know that you've made the right decision. And he certainly did, I guess. He was in and out anything that we needed to get done. Made sure the other lads were going to be there. Wanted to know if he needed to do an extra shift. And uh, obviously the standard of, of his work is top class. So, Shane, from the you see why I missed lads. Thank you very much. Now, we're talking about the RCYMS boys, just very, very briefly, this obviously couldn't be done without them. Um, sometimes I'm seen as a public figure, but the boys, like to work with these boys has been fantastic, and I've been with them now. Well, I've been here 40 odd years, you know, so, and the boys have been coming up to that. Some of my younger than me, there's one or two maybe. They have no grey hair, but they're older than me. But um, they've been fantastic to work with, and, you know, when we came up with the idea, when Stephen and I spoke about this idea in 2012, actually, um, when it was going to France, it was coming to Ireland, and I just popped the question. Didn't think I'd get an answer. But 12 months later, lo and behold, Stephen came back and said, we'd like to come down and see what you have here. And when I went to the boys about this, it was obviously a huge undertaking for us, simply because our standards are very high. And we, were, we had a concern that, you know, I'd been away handy enough to a few international competitions, and I was able to get tips and bits and pieces from that. But our concern was, would we be able to pull it off to the standards that would be expected, and quite rightly so, by the International Tournament Committee. But I need, need not have been too concerned, if I may say, because like, to work with those boys, and we have been together a long time now, you know, and we just switch around in jobs and things like that, but be fantastic, and Ray is down here morning, noon and night when the competition is on, coming in at half past eight. I know he gets out a bit after the night before, but I'm just, <laughs> he's able to manage it. But uh, he comes in, and everything he does is pristine, you see, done by the people I, I'm going to call out now. And I call these names out with great pride. Young Willem Swain. <laughs> this young man come, comes from a family that is one of the great families of you all, the Swain family. His grandfather was cobbler by trade, his other granddad was a, also a very, very popular man. His mem and father were here during the weekend, but he is certainly a very important part of our team here. And he's always around, some, like he's going to eat me now tomorrow when he sees me, but he just likes to get things done. And, you know, he stays out of the way, but we know he's very effective, you know, and what he does, he just sees little things that needs to be done, and he wouldn't be on telling us how to do it. So, Willem, thank you for your help. I'm just going to speak as a group, as I said, and I'm going to call out the boys individually, but still, like, as I said, these, these boys have been quite fantastic down throughout the year, so I'm just going to call them up, but President Sean Murphy. <laughs> Our Honorary Secretary, Ray Phelan. Do you want to do a group shot? And our honorary treasurer, Derek Ahern. And there's one more. Gary Roach. Derek. 
Gavin Roach. Gary Roach, yeah, I see him going into the office. Somebody get in, somebody go in for Gary, please, because he's going to show you all of a sudden. There's one more. Geza. The next individual that we would like to honour here tonight is somebody again who's been involved with us in 2013 in the running of, of, of this competition and he looks after all the IT and, and the media set up and uh, he's given us great um, PR work over the last couple of weeks in the build up to this competition because this competition is a big deal for us I think as you know by now but, but uh, so I'd like to call up Derek Kiley. Tremendous. Well, 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 Thanks to the International Committee, they agreed that we would be able to put on three of our junior internationals on show. And uh, which we did this morning at 10 a.m. And again, I would like to thank the three players, uh, two from France and one from Northern Ireland, who, who took their time out and came up early to, to play our three lads. It was a great experience for them. And the International Committee has said that they would like to mark the three boys' <coughs> appearance. And uh, we're going to do so now. So, first, Noel Anders, Cormand Irish, under 16. <laughs> Well, we do group photograph, lads. We do group photograph. Secondly, uh, th this kid is just turned 14. Triple Irish champion this year. Irish under 14, Irish under 16, and Irish under 18. Ross Bullman. <laughs> and uh, finally, to make up the three, stu the three boys. <laughs> the three boys is our Irish under 21 champion, Adam Fitzgerald. No, as per I'm going to speak away because I'm conscious of the time. As part of that um, of that little competition, we also, as I said, uh, the three players who came along, in particularly uh, Anthony Heaney. Is it Anto? He prefers to be named. Yeah. known as Anto. Okay. And uh, Anto decided. Well, I'm going to show the Irish under 16. I think that uh, the boys from Northern Ireland complained, he, he went in and he smashed in a beautiful 103 break. The only century we've had this weekend, so there's a special momentum for that. And Domin already played. Oh. And he's still at 30 points available, or 27 points available on the table. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Everyone, I know. Right now, we would like to go to the teams, and uh, we will call on Stefan to say a few words, and after that, then call up his French teammates, please. Thank you, Stefan. Is Daniel Pauli interested in coming up as well, Daniel? My friend, my friends, welcome. 
First, uh, I want to say that uh, I really improved my English since 2013. <laughs> Better as my game because uh, I don't play so good this uh, tournament, but uh, I'm happy, so no problem. So I want to thank all the organization, uh, first uh, Brendan and all his team, and uh, I want to thank all the players from each country, especially my players because they travel a lot more as you. <laughs> And uh, I will um, give the, the words, the, uh, Daniel will speak because uh, at first he, he, there is uh, something he wants to say to you because uh, at the opening ceremony uh, it was special things for him at uh, the entry of the club. So I will translate what he wants to say exactly in English. I will try, sorry. <laughs> When we meet in the airport, uh, we, will be, we will have a very good welcome here, but uh, it was a very, very good welcome. Et j'ai vu, uh, vous me voyez très ému parce que Brendan Cooney a fait poser une plaque avec mon nom, et puis euh, en 2013, j'avais cité quelque chose qui vous appartient, la tente du snooker, et j'étais très ému. Il a beaucoup d'émotions quand Brendan, quand il voit la plaque dans l'entrée du club, il a été such comme un crying. <laughs> Sachez que vous, Irlandais, vous êtes très important pour nous. Uh, Irish people are very really important for us. Vous êtes des modèles dont nous nous inspirons. You are a model that we, we try to inspire. inspire. Et le fighting spirit existe. On l'a rencontré ici. Fighting spirit existe and uh, we meet here uh, the fighting spirit. What I want to say again, uh, we bring some gifts for first the hospitality, so for the club and Brendan. So we will give uh, the gift now. I want to congratulate uh, the, the team from Northern Ireland, very good players. We are very happy to play against you. And uh, I call so the captain, Patrick, I think so. So, uh, one player from my team say uh, it was very impressive to play against a uh, player like uh, Patrick and uh, Mike and of course all the good players from Ireland, but it was a special moment to play against a uh, player, a former professional, so we were very happy and it's a good experience for all the players. So. And, uh, I don't know who is the captain of the university.
So thanks again, and uh, I hope uh, we will meet soon, and uh, maybe one time in Nova Highland because we wasn't there. It, I, I am happy if I can go in Belfast. <laughs> so I will call all of my team. So first of all, I want to congratulate uh, one of uh, my players who is make a very impressive tournament, a good uh, improvement. So Ahmed Ben Wesi first. Uh, Nicolas Rivier. <laughs> Neil Vincent, only 15 years old. And French and uh, French champion and French number one. We make a good 67 break. And the Masters, Marc Chouillet. <laughs> David Gauthier. And Daniel Pauli. And myself. Just before you go, we'd like to present you also with, on behalf of the International Challenge Committee for your club, for your association, at Slack as well. Thank you very much. We'll get the French boy snapped up. And we'll draw you on. Okay, we'll just get you to take your seats again, please. Thank you very much. The next team we are going to ask up is Northern Ireland. Obviously, we'll be calling on Patrick to come up and he might say a few words, but uh, just before we do, again on behalf of the members of CYMS, you know, like we never thought we'd see the day when we were down in the town hall, which was just a little bit of end in the 50s, 60s and 70s, and Frank Owen, who was one of the main pillars of our association in that time, you know, that we would see a player of Patrick's calibre, you know, the same with Michael Judge, Robbie, and these lads, outside of having the exhibitions. But I think I said it in 2013, I, I had the opportunity to speak to him prior to that at, at some other competition. And the best praise I could give is that he is a gentleman to his fingertips, and he sets the standard. Somebody who's such a high quality sports person as he was and still is, I know he probably doesn't play as much as, as, as uh, he did before and fair the time catches up on everybody, but uh, you know, I'm quite sure his appearances in the World Championship, you know, his role as a professional snooker player going out to represent his club and you know, the north of, of Ireland, uh, you know, I'm quite sure that people up in the north of Ireland were extremely proud of Patrick and probably didn't get an opportunity to say it. So those of us down here on the south were also very proud of him because he did carry a flag. He carried the snooker flag, a sporting flag, which is more important than most flags. And so just on my own behalf and on behalf of everybody here uh, from this part of, of, of the island, thank you for everything. Thank you. So, if Patrick would like to come up, please, and say a few words on behalf of his team. and. So we'll get the boys up. 
As, as always, Brenton, you're a very tough act to follow. Uh, <coughs> Mick Judge was telling me he loves my speeches, but he asked me to, uh, to make this one quick. <laughs> uh, anybody that's seen me play knows that I don't do too many things quickly. <laughs> uh, the, the hospitality that we've received uh, again here this year has been second to none. Uh, it's an absolute credit to all you guys on the committee. Uh, Brandon, Stephen, Robbie, Eddie. Eddie. Uh, it's been, you're, you're going to be a really, really tough act to follow. Uh, I just, I, I really can't put into words. I organise a tournament myself at home. It's just a, an individual tournament and the amount of work that goes into that is unbelievable. So to actually organise all this for all these players, uh, all the referees, is absolutely fantastic and all I can say is thanks very much. You've even uh, gone so far this year as to organise a celebrity to come and uh, present the prizes. So, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and Fergal, of course. Uh, I'd like to give a, a special mention on behalf of the Northern Ireland lads to, uh, to the staff here. Uh, for everybody that looked after the tables, all the tea and coffee, everything that was made available to us. Uh, to all the referees, I don't know how you guys do it, standing in here for hours on end, uh, refereeing some good snooker and some maybe not so good snooker. Uh, uh, I know uh, it was very nice to hear that Daniel uh, felt like crying when he came in uh, and he saw his name uh, up on the, the poster. I felt like crying a couple of times myself this weekend when I missed a couple of blacks in the spot. I'd also like to thank my teammates uh, for the brilliant team spirit we've had. Uh, I have cried a couple of times this weekend, but it was crying and laughing at the, at the, at the crack amongst all the lads. I uh, just want to say, lads, thank you very much for making the effort to come down at your own expense once again. Really much appreciated. Thank you. Yeah, uh, massive credit to the French lads for travelling again. Uh, just like to say that the standards are improving uh, greatly amongst you guys. Uh, I'm a great performance. Uh, there was a brilliant improvement in form from Nicola overnight. So much so that w w when I played him today and he was potting long ball after long ball, I actually thought I was playing Ali and Robbie do. <laughs> so uh, w well, well done guys and uh, uh, as uh, Stefan hinted, hopefully we will see you in, in Northern Ireland next year. I'm going to call the team up here. Any, any, order, any order we want, so we'll, we'll get the worst up first. Dermy Lachan. <laughs> uh, followed by Mickey Quinn. <laughs> uh, Paul McGuckin. Paul Canavan. <laughs> Raven Calster. <laughs> Brian Mill. <laughs> and the century maker himself, Anto Heaney. He must have got part of himself.
Thanks. 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 Than
then other people sit up and take notes. So, Hamid Bizrazi. Really an exciting player and played extremely well over the weekend and I'm quite sure he might like to say a few words. I will try to, to be short, not to make a lot of mistakes. <coughs> uh, as I said to Fergal earlier, when we came here, actually, we, we came to pray. We came to pray in, in the temple of snooker. So <laughs> we want you, God, you inspired us. You, you give us this, uh, this will to, to go on, to improve. And we, won't, we will not miss the, the opportunity to come. Each time you invite us, thank you a lot. We're going to go on to, uh, to one, excuse me, one of the last few presentations that we're going to make. And uh, this is another special one that is coming from uh, the Torm Committee. Uh, he's going to kill us as well, but anyway, Mick Bowden will come up here and accept the presentation from the lads, please. This man here is, uh, is the grandfather of Adam and Ross Pullman, both two very exciting young players that we have here. We've seen that Ross earlier on. But he spent the last two days above in the attic. <laughs> <laughs> Making sure people got their teas and their coffees and having uh, the, the cups washed and the plates clean and telling Siobhan Coney to go in and get packets of biscuits and everything else and she had to do what she was told. So I'm going to thank you very much for Right, just before we come to the winning team, there are other presentations here that are going to be made, so I'm going to hand you over now to Stephen on behalf of the International Committee. Okay, thank you very much again. Um, again, as, as uh, the, the term is important for the Snooker, but it's also important for the hospitality and for the friendship, and, and that means so, so much more, more to us. And on that note, we'd like to rescind to something from the, from the committee to maybe she hang up in the, in the, in the case bar. Rescind, if you come up here and collect this list. of the committee on the Rollstone Snooker Club for the work that they put in. We're going to ask Eddie Inga to collect it on behalf of the Rollstone Club. Thank you. 
And certainly, Patrick, if we could trouble you again, we'd like to give one to the Northern Irish Association on behalf of the International Com Committee as well. That's, that's like a red rag of bull, Mick. <laughs> uh, second thing I forgot to do, very important thing, was uh, to congratulate the Republic team on their magnificent win. It was a great finish, very exciting, great to be involved in. And I'd just like to say well done. and be dazzled at this stage. Right, the lads have kindly, the, the, the committee or the International Challenge Committee have kindly also uh, have agreed to, to offer or to present one of these be be beautiful pieces to our club here. And I'm going to avoid the blushes of our president because he's, he's the sort of president who doesn't want to be seen in the limelight. He wants to, he just likes to get, do you know, get down and get the job done. But so, to accept on behalf of, of, of the old series, I'm going to ask a couple of men who I spoke about earlier on just extremely briefly when I was talking about the 50s and the 60s, you know, and, and um, he, he's somebody, you know, who represents all that is good about this organisation because, you know, he had a huge role to ensure that people like me when I was growing up understood what it was all about. And so there's no final man I would like to ask up to accept it on our behalf is Frank Evan. Another gentleman, my friends, great bit of play on these there. Bit of a slash on the snooker was. He didn't have the patience and he loved these billets. Thank you, Frank, somebody who was a special captain in the history of this organization. Right, I'm just going to break into somebody else now. I should have asked him up earlier on, and I apologise. Um, would you like to just come up and say a brief word or two on behalf of... Yeah, Thank you. Uh, thanks, Brendan. Um, just guests, um, ladies and gentlemen, um, look, I'm delighted to be here tonight. Um, you all, CIMS, will always have, I suppose, a fond place in my heart. I have very fond memories of being a young fella here growing up and playing, or trying to play snooker, I should say, maybe bad snooker on the tables. Uh, but I had a good time here. Uh, you all see YMS has a very important role to play in our community, uh, and it's great to see uh, the club striving and going forward and going from strength to strength. And it's great to see all the young, um, all the young lads coming through as well. Um, and I'd also like to welcome our visitors and guests here from, from abroad and from Northern Ireland. Uh, it's fantastic to see you here. Uh, I hope you had a great weekend, and I hope you have a great night. Thanks very much. Thank you. Right, just before we go on again, the, the final presentation I think is going to be the trophy, and there's no point getting involved in anything after that, because that's what I presume the event was all about. But first of all, I just have something that I would uh, like to say, and we have a presentation that we want to make on behalf of, of the members of the uh, Catholic Human Society here in Yale. Uh, at our brief opening, I spoke about the honor and having some of the quality of players that we have had here, and uh, two of those are from Ireland, two of them are from, Dub are from Dublin. That's enough about Kerry footballers. <laughs> but they're the reigning 2015 men's snooker champions of Europe and we want to just in our own little way just to present a token to Michael and uh, to Robert uh, just to let them know that even though we weren't in Malta we were still tuned in on what was going on and for them to go to the backyard in Malta take on the Maltese with Tony Drago at all and beat them in their home patch was a tremendous achievement so I'd like Michael to come up. 
Thank you, Robert. Thank you for your presentation. Thank you. I'd a hump on my back by the end of it. The ones that bother sharing the double bed. I can't believe I got roped into saying a few words after all the stick I gave Paddy. It would take an age or so, I'm going to be very short. I think that, apart from everything that's been said here, I just want to reiterate everything, but there's one man that has, has, is the rock behind everything that goes on this weekend, and he's an absolute gentleman ever since I met him the first time. Uh, I, every time I come down here and I meet him at tournaments, he's always a gentleman to me, everyone, the young players, and he's Great, trying to bring up a few great young talented players in from this actual club who, from what I've seen from a few of them, I think I'll retire again soon. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I just want to, I'm going to keep it short. My main speech will be in the bar across the road in about half an hour, but I want to give a big thanks to Brendan Cooney, who's absolutely rocking the <laughs> Okay, we're, we're very, very nearly finished. Just the last presentation is the, to the Irish team, the, the team. But before that, again, as I said, uh, I'm only going to say what Mika said there two minutes ago. You know, when we started organizing this tournament, we got in touch with Brendan. Uh, from day one, I don't have to tell you guys. I, I, really, I, just people, I, I don't have to tell you guys. He's been absolutely fantastic. So on behalf of Robbie, Eddie, Brendan and myself, we'd like to present him with something here for himself. To the committee for their presentation, so much appreciated. Um, just before we finish off, really, uh, I would just like to say a few words again, just on behalf of, of myself and, and, and our colleagues here in the CUMS, just to thank everybody who played any role, big or small, in, our, in, in the staging of the competition, from the people who came in to support and spectate, uh, from the lads, you know, who made sure that we plenty of stock in the fridge with the, with, with the, with the water, etc. Uh, with any printing we had to get done or you know hoovering cleaning tables all these little things add up to ensure that you know hopefully that we were able to run a, a, a good tournament and you know I, look it's a catch-22 if you don't have players you don't have games if you don't have the referees you know you don't have games so to the referees again my sincere thanks to the players it's been a joy I don't know how we're going to follow this you know it's going to be we're probably going to wake up in six months' time and say, well, you know, like, how higher can we go to hold an international competition in, um, in, in a small club like this? So, look, I think it's that. Thanks very much. Uh, and now we, we do promise the very, very last thing. We're going to call the captain of the Irish team up to present us the medallions and the certificates to uh, his players. Brendan Thomas, please. Okay, just a few words. I have to pull the microphone down. I am standing, by the way, just in case I wonder. <laughs> uh, 
First of all, I'd, li I'd like to thank the French team for coming and I'd like to thank the Northern Ireland team for coming. But in particular, I want to thank our own team, the Irish team, for the job well done. And I'd like to thank Northern Ireland for minding the trophy last year for us. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but uh, as the captain of the team, I think it's a job well done by ourselves. But on another note, um, one of our team members lost his dad this year. And we want to dedicate this win to Mark Owens' father. <laughs> so without further ado, I'm going to call up the, the, the players to come up and collect their prizes. Uh, Jason Devaney. Mark Owens. <laughs> Michael George. Brandon Pruny. Robert Murphy. Eddie Yingle. Uh, Stephen Merrigan and the one and only Brendan Thomas. At enormous expense. And maybe now we'll ask Fergal to present the, the trophy that his father uh, gave us at the, uh, at the start of this four years ago. Maybe he presented it to the winning captain, Brendan Thomas. Just finally, we decided to leave this to last bit. Just, just again, it's more of a club presentation than anything else. And, and, and thankfully, the international committee, you know, have put pointed it out to me. But we decided to leave it to last bit. The individual who's going to get this, he's been doing all the work while this competition, or while the presentation ceremony is going on. And he's somebody who, who, who is extremely important to us here in our organisation. Every photograph, every work you see down here, he does it. Free of charge, no bother, set up all our equipment. He's the man behind the camera. He's going to be in front stage now, Michael Hussey. Thank you. 